You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that young. Yeah. Um, you, you have your stuff? Yeah, of course I have stuff, man. Give me, come on. Dude, but like, I thought maybe you wanna smoke with me? Like, do I have friends over? So you just quit smoke, man. <sighs> come on, man. Like, I don't, I don't really care. Dude, it's my birthday, man. I thought you. Bro. I don't give a shit, dude. What the fuck, man? What you want my friend, man? What you with his homies, man? We were never friends, dude. You sell me weed, I buy it from you, I smoke it alone. Dude, Have I ever asked you to dude, be my fuck friend? Fuck off, fuck off, dude. Get the fuck out of my car then, dude. What the fuck, what do the you fuck mean? are you doing? Like, sell me the weed, man. I don't give a fuck, I have money, what the fuck? So it's gonna be yeah. like that, you're gonna start bitching, right? Fuck you, you fucking dickhead. I thought you was loyal, man. I thought you was a good friend. Well, fuck you. Fuck off. Fuck yeah, yeah, fuck off. Can't stand you, man. chaos not order chaos and then you think is that their house or is that their being is that their mind and the answer is there's no difference there's no difference so you know i could say well if you want to organize your psyche you could start by organizing your room if that would be easier because maybe you're a more concrete person and you need something concrete to do so you go clean up under your bed and you make your bed and you organize the papers on your desk and you think well just exactly what are you organizing are you organizing the objective world or are you organizing your field of being, like your field of total experience? And Jung believed that, and I think there's a Buddhist doctrine that's sort of nested in there, that at the highest level of psychological integration, there's no difference between you and what you experience. Now you think, well, I can't control everything I experience, but that's no objection because you can't control yourself anyway. So the mere fact that you can't extend control over everything you experience is no argument against the idea that you should still treat that as an extension of yourself. Well, let's say you have a long-standing feud with your brother. Well, is that a psychological problem? Is that him? Is it a problem in the objective world? Or is, is it a problem in your field of being? And it's very useful to think that way because you might ask, what could you do to improve yourself? Well, let's step one step backwards. The first question might be, why should you even bother improving yourself? Well, 
Ne, što sam nešto rešao. Ne, što ja sam što grej gyveni da izmučim. Da, ja, a što iki strojke sam odirp, su kaži ti bolj ne uždirp, on to iki question might be, why should you even bother improving yourself? And I think the answer to that is something like, so you don't suffer any more stupidly than you have to. And maybe so others don't have to either. It's something like that. You know, like there's a real injunction at the bottom of it. It's not some casual self-help doctrine. It's that if you don't organize yourself properly, you'll pay for it, and in a big way, and so will the people around you. And you can say, well, I don't care about that, but that's actually not true. You actually do care about that, because if you're in pain, you will care about it. And so you do care about it, even if it's just that negative way. It's very rare that you can find someone who's in excruciating pain who would ever say, well, it would be no better if I was out of this. Sort of pain is one of those things that brings the idea that it would be better if it didn't exist along with it. It's incontrovertible. Maybe I should. Like, what's the point? Why am I fucking doing this? You didn't see him. Nobody fucked. Hmm? Hmm? No. 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 You need just bitch in your life. Just good shit, dude. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Dumers, okay? Fuck you. You fucking dumbass piece of shit. You're the fucking motherfuckers that got me into this bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck you, okay? I'm fucking. I'm feeling the bullshit. Fuck you. I'm feeling it. And I know it's not a realistic story. It wasn't like that in real life. It's. It's sort of based on me, so I'm trying to make a sort of documentary on myself, but in an exaggerated way, because I don't really like like how I was. I was. Hey, hello. Hey. Hey. Nice to meet you, dude. Nice uh, to meet you. You you can give me your phone. Sure. sure. We're going to film there, so you can go there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just go sit there on the bed. I I'll turn on the TV. Sit there on the bed, keep scrolling, and then look at the TV or look at me, look at this camera. Okay? Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 